going on, Gamer Nation? It's your boy, Spooch Coyote, coming back at it again with another brand new video. <sighs> I already fucked up my hair. Nice. Um, so, what's up, guys? Um, it's been a while since I've done, like, a personal video, like, just... There's, like, a beam of light coming from the, sh the sun. <laughs> okay. So, um, today I'm actually going to do something different. So, um, lately I've had a lot of free time, and I wanted to turn that free time into something productive, something I could contribute to the fandom a little bit more. So, <laughs> big surprise, um, I've actually started uh, my own fursuit company, like a fursuit maker, basically. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about it to share it with you guys. Um, what's the name, you ask? Oh, well... That's what this banner in the background's for. Oh, hold on. All right. All right, big reveal. Three, two, one. The name of my first two company is... Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. That's not mine. These are not mine. That's the wrong banner. I, I definitely didn't name... No, it's not mine. Yeah. Just, just hold on. Oh, so, 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 so sorry. Here, found it. Found the, found the actual thing. Just, just, just hold on. All right, there we go. Here's the real name. Here's my fursuit company, Spooch's Kooky Fursuits and Textile Services. Now, I didn't start this company all by myself. I actually got a partner. He's a French fursuit designer. Actually, he's here right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jacques Agu. I am the creative director of Spooch's Cookie for Suits and Textile Services. Basically, I do other work and I don't even get my name in the company logo, but it's it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Um, so today I thought it would be cool to show you how I make a fursuit. It's Jack, what's with the accent? Are you even French? What do you mean? I, I am as French as a... Croissant! Alright, uh, what part of France are you from? I'm from, uh... Upper... France. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, the... the Vion Bleu? Oh! <laughs> okay, never, never mind that. So... Today I thought I'd show you how I make a fursuit and go through the process in kind of a tutorial style. Alright, I let's just go to it. Okay, so the first step in making a fursuit, the most essential part in making it is getting a commission. Luckily we had someone to commission us beforehand. Thank you, Shadow Wolf6969. All right, so they. Oh, oh, but you know, before I even get started, I'm, I'm just gonna just t take a take a take a quick water break. <laughs> ah, excuse me. <laughs> All right, so they just sent in their rep sheet. So let's get, take a peek. 
and see what materials we mean. Wait, hold on. It, uh, pardon moi. I'm gonna make a phone call. <clears throat> what the fuck is your rep sheet? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, sorry about that. I was on the phone with my client, so apparently his his rep sheet. He actually is a lobster, and it wasn't some terrible mistake, but that that's okay. I I, I can still make a lobster first. I, I'm the best. All right. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it's ruined. Oh. Oh God! Oh, oh! Let me try to pick it up. It's just really just. Oh God! Oh, it's it's, it's it's destroyed. Oh man! What am I gonna do now? I don't even remember what he had. Um, maybe I do. Um, I think the the species was a a, a wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Um, ah, what, what color was it? Ah, uh, wait, what, what's the most fur I have right now? Yellow? Oh, a yellow wolf? Yeah. Ah. There, there, there we go. I recreated his ref sheet exactly how he had it. So now we can get started in sculpting. Okay, so the first part about making a fur suit is uh, sculpting the foam base head. Ah, voila! See, now I have the foam thinned out to its finest form to keep that ventilation. And I use as little as possible so that it's super light. Now it's already looking like a head base to a wolf, don't you think? All taped together. <laughs> Alright. So now I'm gonna work on the snout of the wolf and using another high quality material. In France we call it papier de carton. Ah, très bien, it's already looking very well. All right, I'm also gonna start the ears using some more papier carton. Ah, now it really is a wolf. <laughs> I told you I'm the best in the business. <laughs> oh man, it's so, it's so beautiful. Okay, so now to layering the fur on the head. The best method I ever learned was just to clap three times and it's done. Oh God, oh. Uh, maybe it was four times. Right, let's try that. <laughs> Wow, oh, it's so beautiful already. Now for the um, eyes and ears. And to do this, it only takes about just two claps and that's all. Wow, it's, it's so, it's so magnificent, oh, so beautiful. Oh, I, I always knew I was the best. Oh, I'm gonna try it on right now. Wow, wow, it's, it's just so amazing. Man, I wish I was a lucky person getting this. Okay, now we're gonna move on, since we have the head done, we're gonna move on to the final parts of the suit, which is the body suit, the, the paws and the foot paws. All right, let's go. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to the body suit of the fur suit. So, with the bodysuit, I'm gonna use some more papier de carton, because not only is it a very light material, but it's also very strong. And I have some here right now, imported straight from France. <laughs> um, but the reason why I want a strong material in my bodysuits is for body armor. 
at these furry conventions, there's a lot of spooky, scary, uh, mean, uh, people that can just beat you up at any time. So I want you to be prepared with this body armor. So, when making the, the body suit, I'm just going to wrap this around me and um, just, just fur it real quick. There we go, and that's the bodysuit. And to show you how durable uh, Papier de Carton is, I'm going to hit myself with this barbed wire bat to show you just how safe you can be. All right. It works! Alright, so I think that finishes up this project and I just want to see how everything came together by trying on the suit myself. Alright, and for the final piece. Alright. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> it's so fucking terrible. Oh my god. It's so ugly. What the what was I thinking? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, Jack. I just got back from Chuck E. Cheese. Just want to check in on how things were going. Oh, no, Monsieur Spooch, I, I I spent so much time on the first one, but it came out looking so terrible. I failed you as an artist and a suit maker. <laughs> Please forgive me. Let me see that. What are you talking about? This thing is beautiful. Wow, great job. I'm going to go give this to the buyer right now. Huh. Maybe I really am a very good fursuit maker, and I was just putting myself down because of all the pressure on me. Oh, fuck. Jack, why did you make such an ugly fursuit? The buyer's coming up, and he's pissed. But, monsieur, you just called my fursuit beautiful just a minute ago. Yeah, shut the hell up and help me deal with this guy for a sec, okay? Oh, shit, I'm here, I'm coming. <sighs> All right, I paid $5,000 for my fursuit, and you give me this? $5,000 guarantees me a cute fursuit. I can't deal with this kind of shit. I'm not becoming one of those goddamn, those, those goddamn fursuities. I want my money back. Well, I can't just give you back all your money because I already spent it all at Chuck E. Cheese where a kid can be a kid. There's no time for advertisements. If I can't get my money back, then I'm going to have to kill one of you. So who's it going to be? Well, I am from Saganda, and it's a Sagandi's tradition. You put your life before others, so take my life. Sagandi's? I've never heard of that. What is that? No. Oh. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's in the second these nuts, boy. Oh. I'm going to report you for sexual harassment on Twitter. Oh. Ah, monsieur, très bien. You saved my life. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, it's nothing. Um, you're fired. Wait, what?